For a solid mechanical design or analysis, sometimes the material's properties are not directly given. What is available could be raw material data from testing lab or from literature. Here, we will give an example of using uniaxial tensile test data to define plasticity with bilinear hardening. So this is the stress-strain curve measured in the lab for the material. First of all, we need to define yield point where the material starts plasticity. Before the yield point, the stress-strain curve should be almost a straight line. Next, we will decide if perfect plasticity or hardening should be used. Using perfect plasticity means that the strength after yield point is ignored. Therefore, it will lead to more conservative results. If hardening is considered, we need to define the hardening model. The given data curve of a material is usually complex and irregular. We need to simplify and smooth the data to define a hardening model. There are different ways to do curve fitting for data. Here, we will show the simple steps to define bilinear hardening. Basically, we need to find two modeling for bilinear hardening. The first one is the Young's modulus E. It is a tangent of the initial linear part of the material. You can calculate Young's modulus from the stress and strain value at the yield point you choose. The other modulus is the hardening modulus H. It is the tangent of stress versus plastic strain curve. Note that this modulus is not the tangent of the hardening part on the given stress versus total strain curve. To find hardening modulus H, we need to first find the plastic strain. Plastic strain is the residual strain. If we unload the material to zero stress, the elastic strain will be gone. What left in the material is plastic strain. Basically, it can be found by subtracting the elastic strain from the total strain. We know that the total strain is given from the testing data, but how about the elastic strain? We can find elastic strain from stress and the Young's modulus. This way, plastic strain is also known to us. Now, plot the curve with plastic strain as horizontal axis and stress as vertical axis. One way to find an average tangent of the curve is to find the trend line of it and use the tangent of the trend line as the hardening modulus edge. Let's practice these steps for given material data to define bilinear hardening. First of all, we decide that the yield point is at stress equals to 23.1 MPa and strength equals to 7.45 times 10 to the minus 5. With these two data, we can calculate Young's modulus, which is the tangent for the first linear part. Next, we'll find plastic strength and plot stress versus plastic strain curve. Here, we use the trend line of this curve to define our hardening modulus H. In summary, three inputs are needed for the definition of bilinear hardening. Young's modulus, yield point, and hardening modulus.